Someone recently asked me on Instagram how I created these photos, so I thought in this video I would quickly walk you through this effect and show you how you can recreate it yourself. The technique is really easy and it's gonna take about 2 minutes to complete, but it's super effective and can turn an otherwise boring photo into an Instagram banger. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into Photoshop. Once you have Photoshop open, import the photo that you wanna apply the edit to. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J on our keyboard. We're going to apply the blur onto this copied layer and we're going to use a layer mask to mask out the parts of the image where we don't want the blur to be visible. So let's head over to Filter, Blur, Radio Blur and in the window that pops up make sure to set the blur method to zoom and the quality to best. With the amount you want to experiment around, I know that for this photo a value of 75 works pretty well but it might be different for your photo. Also, make sure to move the blur center to the point where you want the blur to start. Once you have set everything, click OK and wait for Photoshop to apply the effect to the photo. Now we're going to apply a layer mask to this photo by clicking on this icon down here. Make sure that the layer mask is selected and press Ctrl or Command I on your keyboard. This is going to invert the colors of the layer mask and we can see that it turned completely black and that our blur disappeared. Don't worry, we're gonna get it back in just a second. Now grab a white soft brush, increase the brush size to a fairly big amount and start painting away at the areas where you do want the blur to be visible like so. Everything that you paint white on the layer mask will be visible and the black areas will be masked out by the layer mask. This is basically all there is to the effect, but the blur can create some weird stuff on your photos. As you can see in my case, the blur affected something on the sky that doesn't look very good, so I'm gonna grab the spot healing brush tool and get rid of this black line. The more time you spend masking at your subject, the better the final result is going to look, but otherwise we are done with this two minute effect. Alright guys, so we are pretty much finished with this effect. Um, as I said, it's super easy and super fast. Make sure to tag me on Instagram if you use this technique on one of your photographs because I would love to see what you guys come up with. And otherwise, I'm gonna wrap up the video for now. Please follow me on Instagram. This is where I upload all of my photographs and this is where you can see all of my work. Uh, we can also stay connected on Instagram. So if you wanna talk to me, if you wanna ask me any questions or you just wanna show me your photography, then Instagram is definitely the place to do so. And in case you don't know me, my name is Mate and I make videos here on YouTube all about photography and filmmaking. So if that's something that interests you, I would love for you to take a look around the channel and see what kind of other videos I already have uploaded. And if you like what you can see, consider subscribing. I guarantee you will not regret it. I'll be back soon with more videos and until then, peace.